Dan Oliver M on Snake Eye. Oh, it's not unfortunate for Stun to lose. Yeah, but that stun is cool stun. It's not like it's not like bad stun that we've seen a bunch. That's a cool stun. They're gonna go wanted, grab Black Witch. I mean that you have put Master Duel on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put Master Duel. This is Master Duel. Pretty much. I mean look at this. This is the same this is the same format. They're gonna go Imperm on Black Witch. Yup, normal summon out Poplar, Poplar effect. Wait. Uh, I guess Imperm on Black Witch is like fine. It just leads you to get punished a little bit. It just sucks because they start with wanted. So you don't want them to have the draw. Uh, was there any Fire King the whole stream? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It was the same exact thing last time. Europeans do not play Fire King at all. They only play Pure Snake Eye. Like, if I went to a YCS in Europe, I would not be building my deck for Fire King, like, at all. It's literally just all Pure Snake Eye. It's crazy, because, like, in the States, it's, like, 50-50 on Fire King, Snake Eye, and Pure Snake Eye. But now they're going to go Original, Send, bring out Snake Eye, Ash, Effect, go Search. Okay. Uh, so grab out Poplar. Yeah, Poplar, summon itself out. Uh, did we see them play Lad, or was it just Vanity's Majesties? Oh, we just saw Vanity's Majesties. So they're going to get hit with Rock on that summon. That is tough. They do have Wanted Draw. They have Pop. Oh, God, that's actually so tough. Yup. So they're calculating the stats of it real quick. Okay. And then Wanted Draw. I just writing down the token. Sure, sure, sure. Also, as you can tell by the sleeves, this is the Disciples Cormac from the Tap Tuesdays podcast. <laughs> they put the token with the dice. Nice. Anyway, they're probably going to grab them. Yeah, they're grabbing them an actual token. You can see the deck box get flopped open right there. Okay. No, the judge has a Sky Striker token. The judge is a weeb. Nah, no shot. I would have just let him use the dice at that point. I would just let him use the dice. I can't out myself like that. I would just let him use the dice. Oh God, yes, L Judge. I, I have, I have a Sky, I have a Sky Striker token, but it's Ray. It's like a custom made one that my buddy made. I was like, sure, I'll use the token, and then I kept it. And I was like, I'll give it back to you. And he's like, no. This this is your journey now. And then he quit the game. I was like, alright, cool. That's my that's my right now. W Judge. That's the reprint too. They're gonna go normal Valor, make Link Karibo, make Dark Charmer, Dark Charmer on the Black Witch. Black Witch effect to go suh. Oh, they're thinking on this? Okay, so they have Valor. Obviously, or Moonlit on summon. Okay, so they value that on the effect. Set one pass. Wow. They actually just drew no engine. So, like, Cormac could definitely still end up winning this. And then, a hey, shout out to uh, Easy Money 1017 for the follow. Thank you, thank you. They're gonna go normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash effect go search. Sure, they went through double poplar turn one though, so they can't search out poplar here. So it's not nearly as good as it normally is. So it's just like search Ash, Oak, Jet, one of those cards. I can't even tell what they're grabbing. Ah I'll let, I'll let you know. If I ever host a Yu-Gi-Oh! big tournament. I'm gonna have the camera a little bit zoomed out. Or I'm just gonna have a super small table so the table ends right here. So that way you literally only have enough room for the mat. Now they're gonna go Nightmare Phoenix, discard Flame Burge, pop the back row. They're gonna chain Imperm on it just in case they mess up and use a back row in that column. And then Bell the Flame Burge effect. Nah, they're sick. Has five non engines so far. But I mean, to be fair, if they didn't have engine, right? They're gonna have non engine. Hey, shout out to uh, Tar for the follow, or Anaste for the follow. Thank you, thank you. So, 
Now they just pass turn. Do they draw engine? You saw that little please give me good engine card. Activates bonfire. Oh, do they have another? Uh, even like a Veiler isn't like the greatest now because they have Link Karibo engraved. Normal summon effect. Go grab out Poplar. Yeah, that just looks like game. Poplar summon out. Poplar effect. Go search. Grab out the Divine Temple. Divine Temple. Go spell on Trap Zone. And then they have. Oh gosh. Um, do they just do normal Snake Eye Ash combo here? Well, it's not like normal, right? Because we're going for game. But it's like, how exactly do we want to play this? Because we know that Cormac, I think they have two cards in hand. And one of them was searched off Snake Eye Ash. It's obviously not Ash Blossom. Otherwise, Balanfire would have been <laughs> shut down. I'm going to bring out Flame Burge. Yup. And then they can link those two off and then get Flame Burge Poplar, Chain Block it from Ghost Bell. I think Bell and Ogre are underrated this format. Ogre's getting used a lot more. Bell's not getting used that much, uh, but Ogre's getting used a lot more. So Poplar spell, Trap Zone, Flame Burge, summon back out. They should summon an attack, right? There's like no point of summoning in defense. But summon out Oak Poplar, Oak summon out Snake Eye Ash, and then they will go. Huh. Think about how to game through Rock. Because, I mean, you can still build a board through Rock. How do you game through it? Is it just. Princess? And then Princess summon back out. Okay, sure. That's fine. Princess Poplar. Oh, okay. We're just gonna go Raging Phoenix World C. Sure, 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 sure. So, that is a game. Uh, Ogre on Apple Field Spell does sound very good. Yeah, also, like, Insane Versus, like, you know, like, Voiceless and stuff like that, too. Cash. They're gonna go some flu, summon out, summon out, and then battle. Okay, end of main, activate rock, sure. So tribute the field, summon out, pass over token, divine temple, summon out the flame burge. That's fine. Yeah, we know that the opponent has follow up, so they're, they're counting the stats of the token right now. They did put the IP in grave. So they have SP set up for the opponent's turn. I doubt they're gonna crash like Flame Burge. They could. I, no, I don't think they will. You could Flame Burge spell Trap Zone Rock. Kinda doubt that one too. So it's probably just Flame Burge target IP. Pass. Ogre was broken the day out of regional today. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm a. Uh, I, I definitely have started to look in the Ogre some. I've been seeing that card used a lot. Cards look good. Ogre Ogre on the SP Little Knight. Like, if you, like... If you, like, Valor Imperm the opponent and all they do is SP pass and, you know, at least Ogre can still trade with SP on its effect. There's, like, other things that it can do, too. Like, when... You know, so, so many scenarios it works in. Uh, Dincon fam got 7th. God, yes. Another top. One, another, another regional top. Go Hida and the Nightmare Phoenix, sure. That's good. Where do they plan on going from there? Use those. Hida, Nightmare Phoenix. Into access code, gain 2000 attack. Effect, pop rock. Alright, sure. I mean, they know the last card in the opponent's hand. It's... I don't know what it is exactly. Pretty sure it's just gonna be Snake Eye Ash, right? Because I'm pretty sure they went through Oak earlier. If they fanned out their graveyard, I'd know what it was. I'm pretty sure it's just Snake Eye Ash, though, with nothing to grab. Because they already went through Double Poplar. I looked away, did Flu win? Yep. Yep, 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 Flu won. My friend played Cash with two Ogre and Italia Regionals today. Haven't heard the results yet. 
Baron goes burr. Yeah, Baron does go burr. Okay, so yeah, it was just... Okay, sure, sure, sure. Snake Eye Ass, Divine Temple Summon Out IP. And then... Snake Eye Ash, search another Snake Eye Ash, or Jet Synchron. And then we hope our top deck was good. Our top deck could have been Wanted Black Witch, which would allow us to extend here. Bonfire, dead. Any other engine card, dead. Okay, do they have it? No, there's a scoop. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. No. Wasted a little bit of time there, but I guess it's fine. There's still 30 minutes left. So now, Cormac will be going first in game two. Will they be able to play through the hand traps again? Normal summon out Snake Eye Ash. Effect. Chain Imperm. Cross out? Nope. No cross out. Activate Wanted. That's pretty good. Shout out to Brandis one two or one one two for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hope everyone's day is going well. By the way, yeah, my day is going great. Out here watching some good Yu-Gi-Oh. We actually got a lot of matches that were very good. Like the the like the the German one was really good. This one was really good. I honestly like a lot. Oh gosh, failure on the Black Witch. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. This is not looking like we're going to end on a real end board here. Um, but they, they definitely chose a lot of really good matches. I think the only one that wasn't that good was the Luke Tyler versus the Plant Player, just because they were X1-1. I think other than that, like every match was like really solid. Like really solid picks from the, from the team, whoever picks who's ever going up on stream. Probably the commentator team that chooses. But they're going to SP Banish. Oh my god. End phase Magma Mutt. Magma Mutt effect to go search. I mean, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and search. That's just game. Like, they can they can already just, like, out SP. I saw Sornir in their deck, too. They're going to grab out Baldrick. So they side in, like, the four Bistials into this matchup. Wow, their hand was actually broken. Imperm. Valor, Magma Mutt. They don't even have to draw engine again. Because they can just beat over SP. They can summon out Baldrick if they want by banishing Valor, which they could have also done during their end phase, but that means they have engine to play with. Otherwise, they would have done that during the end phase. So that way they could swing for more damage in this battle phase. But yeah, battle phase. Beat over SP. Uh-huh. And Cormac's down the two cards. You know, normal Snake Eye Ash. Wanted Black Witch discard Flame Burge. So two cards. Two non-engine. Or maybe like one non-engine, one engine. But they're gonna Valor the Snake Eye Ash, which is fine. Yeah, the opponent has the, the Black Witch in their graveyard. So we're gonna go Snake Eye Ash, make Link Karibo, make Dark Charmer. Dark Charmer effect go take. Take Black Witch. They're thinking on that. I mean, you can't hand trap that. <clears throat> you can't hand trap it. Actually, you just lose. You have to let... Uh, if it's like a Veiler, you just lose anyways. Ah, oh, that's game. Activate Baldrick. Baldrick, Banish, Special, Princess, Princess, Snake Eye, Ash, Snake Eye, Ash, Sentence, Soul Plus, Princess, Poplar, Poplar, Original, Combo, the opponent's on zero cards. There's 25 minutes left, so time's not going to be the cause of, you know, Death Through Moonlit. Yeah, it's just over. Could ogre it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, could, could ogre it, could ogre it, but I, I, I doubt that it was ogre. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people aren't playing it right now, but it is becoming more popular. So they're going to go ahead, search original, uh, Link Karibo, Tribute, Special, Poplar, Spell, Trap Zone. Then they have Original, Send, Special Out from Deck, Yup. You don't even have to build, like, well, obviously build the best end board that you can, but we don't even have to. You just go Oak, Oak, Special Summon back out from the Graveyard. Uh, now they can go Oak, Send for Flame Burge, Link Off, 
Flame Bird summoned back out to... Yeah, okay, they're looking through their deck right there. Sure, 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 doesn't matter. Okay, so the opponent does have Wanted in Graveyard. That's like one thing that's going good for them. Is if they can find a way to play next turn and their opponent messes up here, then Wanted could end up drawing. But Flame Bird summoned back out Snake Eye Ash and Poplar. Okay. I feel like you just make an Apo. Well, I mean, not 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 like a direct Apo, but you could go Princess summon back out, uh, Flame Burge on the IP, and then make Hida with Snake Eye Ash Princess. Take from the opponent's graveyard. And then you make Apo, and you end with Apo, Flame Burge, IP. Oh, wait, they already went through Princess. Wait, never mind. So they went through Princess? Yep, 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 yep. I realize that. Yeah, yeah. But now go into Celine. Celine bring back. But this is still actually, this is exactly just the same end board. Yeah, because the opponent has Flame Burge in their graveyard. Nice. <laughs> make Apo. Yup. 16 attack. And then pass. That's just game. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, they can't. They can't talk the out of this. Top deck desires. No one plays it, but do they draw it? That's what they're gonna need. No, they're not gonna handshake. They're gonna fist bump. They're a fist bump type of guy. Oh, okay. That's still just game. Oak effect. Appaloosa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, GG. Yeah, they probably should have. I guess on res you can go Flame Birch target IP, Apo IP, in the SP SP banish before they can Sky Crisis. It doesn't matter though. Actually, you don't even do that. You want them to Sky Crisis because then you Princess Papa. They don't and they don't have two level 